Welcome to the Buckingham Covers Story Behind the Collection series. We're going to delve a little bit further into some of the extraordinary items that we have in our collection, looking at fantastic first day covers and sensational signatures. Today's item takes us to Florida, and in particular the Kennedy Space Center, for a remarkable piece of space history. This cover was made to mark the launch of the Space Shuttle Challenger, and is postmarked at the Space Center on launch day. On January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart just 73 seconds into its flight. This led to the deaths of all seven crew members. The disaster was caused by an O-ring seal on one of its rocket boosters, which failed at liftoff. This allowed burning gas to escape and reach an external fuel tank, causing the separation of the rocket booster and the subsequent failure of the fuel tank. It was later discovered that the O-ring was not designed to fly in the cold conditions that were present on launch day. The disaster resulted in a 32-month halt of the shuttle program and the subsequent Rogers Commission found NASA managers had known about the fatal flaw in the O-ring and disregarded warnings about the dangers of launching in such low temperatures. Known as a disaster cover, this insurance collectible is signed by the five NASA astronauts on board the mission. They were Dick Scooby, Judy Resnick, Mike Smith, Ellison Onizuki and Ronald McNair. There were also two civilian crew members on board, a teacher and an engineer respectively, who served as payload specialists. The two civilians signed a very limited quantity of material, which had previously been sold for astronomical prices, and as a result, this cover, signed by the five astronauts, is generally recognised as the complete signed cover. The insurance stamps covers was a plan originally hatched by the 1969 Apollo 11 crew, who, at the time of their mission, were unable to get life insurance. The ingenious idea was to use autographed stamped covers. The astronauts prepared the items prior to their mission, postmarking them on the launch day, with the reasoning being that if they did not come back, the signed stamped collectibles would be hugely valuable and could be sold for the benefit of their families. The Apollo 11 stamp covers were also postmarked on their touchdown to Earth. The philatelic insurance system continued until Apollo 16, the penultimate of the moon missions, after it was slightly scandalised when Apollo 15 crew of Dave Scott, Al Warden and Jim Irwin were paid around $7,000 by the German dealer Hermann Seeger to take covers to the surface of the moon. Scott carried them in his suit, not declaring these to the NASA Chief of Astronaut Office. The covers were later sold against the wishes of the astronauts at auction for huge prices. Anyway, back to the disaster cover. This remarkable piece of autographed history is available via our website. Simply search Space Challenger Buckham Covers.com.